Welcome. Welcome back. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, the um, Oklahoma Children's Theater for giving me the opportunity to come in on a video and show you another art project. I hope you've enjoyed the one so far. Um, uh, for those of you who are new, let me tell you, my name is Mr. Paul. I'm an artist and an art teacher. I've been doing it for a long time. I've been working with you, you young people. In fact, I may have already uh, worked with you in person before at school or at Oklahoma Children's Theater. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad you're here. And we're going to be doing a project today that I personally love. You know, one of the things that drives me nuts is when I was your age, we didn't have really good special effects and stuff in our movies. Everything looked like fake, but, but today with how they do all the computerized graphics and stuff in movies and stuff, they make them just look so real. Well, we didn't have that. But I must say that I, when I was a kid, I read stories like Sinbad the Sailor. Um, there were a lot of books about magical creatures, right? Uh, and so I kind of was uh, grew up with like the Greek mythology and the Roman mythologies and the, the gods and the beasts and the stuff. I was really, really into that. And the only thing that we had at the time when I was a kid were in books. Now you've got these incredible movies like Harry Potter or, you know, a number of others that, that these artists using a computer are creating and generating these incredible kind of monster beasts, fantastical beasts, you know. But I've always loved that. And so this is what we're going to do today. It's going to be all about imagination. I don't care how well you draw, right? All I want you to do is try. I want you to think of a of, of something that uh, a creature that you have seen maybe or uh, have created yourself. I would love that. And for those of you that may have a little problem uh, dealing or coming up with ideas about that, think of it this way. Choose three or four animals and combine them into one animal. So let's say uh, you, uh, how about, um, well, think about a mermaid. A mermaid is half fish and half uh, a human being. Pegasus, which is the flying horse, it's mostly horse, but it's got wings. And so that's kind of how these magical beasts came about, even back thousands of years when they made up those stories, is what they did is they com they combined different animals into one animal and created a fantastic beast. And so I think that uh, a lot of that has to do with what they did a long time ago. Now they're creating these all these different kinds of, you know, half robots and half monkeys and, you know, all of these kinds of this wonderful fantasy stuff. And so that's kind of what we're going to do today. I want you to choose um, out of your imagination and create a fantastic piece. Uh, what you need today is you need paper. Again, just regular paper like this would be fine. If I'm today working on a lot larger piece of paper simply because it's it's going to show up better on video for you. Um, and so uh, paper, white paper, a good pencil, a sharp pencil, an eraser, and some colors of some sort. Uh, crayons, uh, uh, oil pastels, uh, markers, uh, pencils, colored pencils, anything that you want to use to color this thing up. Now, not only are you going to design an animal? Um, 
and combining several animals together. Uh, I want you to create a place in which that animal would live. If it's something that flies, how about drawing it up in the air, flying, right? If it, if it digs in the ground, maybe you can uh, uh, combine, you know, a pig and a snake and a shark. You know, I mean, use your imagination. Or, hey, hey about, how about what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a creature part human, part bird, and part spider. Ooh, spiders, scary, scary stuff. And so this can be kind of part of the Halloween thing that, uh, that's coming up, the... The, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to do it this year, but uh, we can still kind of do some stuff that's kind of scary. Uh, I kind of I, I kind of do that, and so I hope you can get into it too. So, next thing we need to do is you need to do some work. You need to kind of come up with what you want. What animals do you want to to uh, uh, put together. Now I know that they're out there, there are some people who love unicorns. If you want to do a unicorn, that's fine, but add something else to it, right? A uh, unicorn and let's say a grasshopper. Oh, I don't know. Whatever, whatever comes to your mind. Let's make these as weird as we possibly can and have fun with them and make them very, very colorful, okay? Oh, and by the way, by the time we are finished, I want you to name your character. Name your fantastical beast, and I want you to write it somewhere on your paper, okay? Well, listen, if you got your pencil, that's the first thing you'll need to do, and uh, let's get going on this, okay? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to start out with some ground down below. If you're going to do an outside scene or an in indoor scene, it doesn't really make a difference. Always start out with a ground or a floor or something like that. Unless you're up in the air, right? And so, <clears throat> mine is going to be kind of scary. Mine is going to be part bird, part human, and part spider, right? And so, I have kind of this weird thing about spiders. I used to be really, really, really afraid of spiders when I was little, and I'm not anymore. You know why? Because I'm much bigger than they are, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've got my ground going, and I'm going to start out with, I'm going to draw a human face. Here we go. Put some ears on it. And then I'm going to make a spider body. And the first legs, they're not going to be legs, they're going to be arms. But the next one is going to be, oh, I don't know. I think this is really going to creep me out. I'm just going to make this spider body with the legs. How many legs does the spider have? Yep, you're right. Hmm. 
Okay, I've almost got him done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him wings. And what I need to do is I need to take my eraser. And erase some of this so I can get my wings in there. So, And they're bird wings, so they're going to be... some wings how are you guys doing out there hope you're doing good remember these are supposed to be a little bit scary but kind of fun too I think I'm gonna give my creature a mohawk there we go a big grin on his face. And I think I'm going to put shoes on him. And why not? You know why? Because I can. <laughs> Here we go. I know, this is silly. Okay. Now, I've got my creature, bird wings, head and arms of a human, and the rest of its spider. Okay, now, where would my creature live. I think he would live in a real rocky area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of create this rocky landscape. Uh, let me see. Oh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a volcano in the background. That's it. There we go. And maybe the sun over here. So this is where my uh, magical creature would live. Uh, um, and now I need to bring, what's his name? Uh, some really crazy name for such a crazy character. Magical beast. How about, how about, uh, how about, Something, a, a really scary name. Something that when you hear it, you freak out. Because it's so scary. Kevin. Ooh, scary. Scary, scary stuff. Okay, now, which I could do, I could color this in, you know, brown or, you know, some color black like a spider. No, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to make him really colorful. Right, I'm going to make him, even though he's scary looking, I think that he's going to be a really friendly Spider person. 
Not a spider man, right? But a spider person. I don't know about you, but the with real hairy spiders, most real hairy spiders aren't dangerous. I mean, the tarantulas can bite, and there are some tarantulas, not in America, but in other countries, that can be real poisonous. Uh, but most hairy spiders really aren't that dangerous. But they're the creepiest looking ones. That's what I think. So yeah, I've got to just... Uh, Color him in. So how's yours doing? Did anybody do a monkey, a dolphin, and a chihuahua dog? Can you imagine what that would look like? Kind of weird, I think. So, again, this is fun. So Kevin, the spider bird. I like that. I like that. Gonna do his sports shoes in orange. Uh-oh, I think I need more legs. What do you think? Not enough legs. I'm counting uh, the arms as two legs, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that is kind of, can you imagine running across something like that? No thanks, not me. Yeah, again, I'm just doing this kind of quickly just to kind of give you an idea, right? I definitely know how to draw better, I mean color better than this, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. We only have a, uh, uh, around 30 minutes to give this instruction. These are kind of instructions. I, I hope you guys continue and finish the, these up after you finish watching these little videos, because that's, that's how we plan these, right? Uh, I think I need some yellow in the sky. I mean, in the. I'll tell you what. Wouldn't it be fun to be able to fly? I mean, think about it. <laughs> Get out of school when we go back to school, right? You could. Instead of taking a bus or something, mom. I'll be flying to school today, okay? Okay, you be careful. I'll see you after school, okay, bye. It could be kind of interesting. Mom, can I go over to Joe's house? Yeah, okay. Will you make sure you're careful flying back home? Okay, Mom. I think I'd like it. But I tell you what, I wouldn't want eight legs. No thanks. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Yeah. So, hope you get. Hope you can get into this. <clears throat> uh, have some fun with it. I'd love to be able to see some of these, what you're, you know, what you're coming up with. Okay, we're about to, ready to wrap up here. Uh, hope you continue to uh, finish these up. Uh, 
if you want to, you if you want to, you can uh, send some um, photographs, some pictures off of your cell phone and send them to Oklahoma Children's Theater. That might be fun. I know that we would all love to see them. Anyway. We are about, or I'm about to be finished right now. Yep. I think I, before I want to end, I want to just do a lot. Got to do something with the, the volcano. Got to do that a little bit. Yeah. Has anybody ever seen a real volcano blow up? I haven't. I've seen videos of them. Talk about being kind of scary. In fact, I think I'd be more afraid of a, if I was close to a, a volcano, I think I'd rather be, I, I think I would be more scared of the volcano than my Kevin, right? So, we're about finished here. a little bit more please please uh, uh, finish these up um, I don't know about you I always sign my name right just sign your name uh, to make that's when 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 I when I sign my name that means I'm finished and unfortunately I'm finished for the day I want you all uh, to have the rest of the day be a good day for you um, I know you probably have to do some homework sorry about that uh, but hey have a good day try to get outside for a little bit even though it's going to be 81 degrees today not good uh, and so uh, hopefully I will see you next time uh, again my name is Mr. Paul uh, thanks for uh, the um, Oklahoma Children's Theater to make this possible for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, anyway, take care and wear that mask when you're outside. Bye-bye.